forest and wildlife resources. As we know that on earth we have millions of species of plants and animals. Plants, trees, animals and microorganisms maintain the quality of a planet's air, water and soil which is essential for the survival of humans. Forests are the primary producers on which all the species of animals depend directly and indirectly. The variety of living things found in a region, country or the entire earth is called biological diversity or simply you can say biodiversity. Now let's learn about flora and fauna in India and the definition of flora and fauna. What is flora? All the species of plants and trees found in a region are collectively called the flora of the region. Whereas fauna is the species called fauna of the region. India is home to around 1.6 million or nearly 8% of all the species of flora and fauna found in the In India, we have 81,000 species of animal life or fauna, 47,000 species of plant life or flora, and 15,000 species of indigenous flowering plants. Endangered wild flora constitute about 10% and endangered mammals about 20%. Now let's learn about the critically endangered species. Cheetah, pink-headed duck, mountain quail, forest-spotted owl, maducha insignis that is wild mahua, and Huberdia heptaneuron, which is a grass species. Overexploitation and insensitivity towards the environment has led to large scale degradation of biodiversity in India. The International Union for Conservation of Nature and Natural Resources, or IUCN in short, has classified the species of flora and fauna as follows. So the species of flora and fauna can be classified as normal species, extinct species, endangered species, vulnerable species, rare species and endemic species. Let's begin with the normal species. Species whose population levels are considered to be normal for their survival such as cattle, sal, pine, rodents etc. Endangered species these are species which are in danger of extinction. That means the survival of such species is difficult if the negative factors that have led to a decline in the population continue to operate. The examples of such species are black buck, crocodile, Indian wild ass, Indian rhino, lion-tailed macaque, sangai which is bro and deer in Manipur etc. Vulnerable species these are species whose population has declined to levels from where it is likely to move into the endangered category in the near future if the negative factors continue to operate. The examples of such species are blue sheep, Asiatic elephant, Jangetic dolphin, etc. Now, what rare species? Species with small population may move into the endangered or vulnerable category is the negative factors affecting them continue to operate. The examples of such species are the Himalayan brown bear, wild Asiatic buffalo, desert fox and hornbill etc. These are, these could be rare species. Endemic species. These are species which are only found in some particular areas usually isolated by natural or geographical barriers. Examples of such species are Andaman teal, Nicobar pigeon, Andaman wild pig, Mithun in Arunachal Pradesh. Extinct species. These are species which are not found after searches of known or likely areas where they may occur. A species may be extinct from a local area, region, country, continent or the entire earth. Examples of such species are the Asiatic cheetah, 
pink headed duck here is the number of endangered species in india 79 species of mammals 44 of birds 15 of reptiles and 3 of amphibians 1500 plant species are considered endangered here we can see a picture showing some of the endangered animals vanishing forest the forest and tree cover in the country is estimated at 78.92 million hectare which is 24.01 percent of the total geographical area here we can see dense forest is 12.24 percent open forest is 8.99 percent and mangrove forest is 0.14 percent which is the least the Asiatic cheetah became extinct in India in 1952 due to a decline of available habitat and prey. This is an Asiatic cheetah which became extinct in India. The Himalayan yew, a medicinal plant found in Himachal Pradesh and Arunachal Pradesh. The bark, needles and roots of this plant yield a substance used to treat several types of cancers. Today, overexploitation has endangered the species. This is the useful Himalayan yew plant. Its bark, needles and roots are used to treat several types of cancers. Causes of depletion of flora and fauna. The following factors are responsible for the decrease in India's biodiversity. Number 1. Hunting and poaching. The main reason for the depletion of fauna is excessive hunting and poaching, habitat destruction. Forest and wetlands are natural habitats of animals and the destruction of these has resulted in the depletion of wildlife. Deforestation one of the cause. Overexploitation of forest has resulted in the depletion of flora. Deforestation is a main cause is one of the main causes for the depletion of flora. Colonial Forest Policy In colonial India, vast stretches of natural forests were destroyed for the expansion of railways, agriculture, commercial farming and mining. The colonial practice continued even after independence. Large infrastructure projects like multipurpose dams have also resulted in massive deforestation. Development Projects Large scale development projects have also contributed significantly to the loss of forest. Since 1951, over 5000 square kilometer of forest was cleared for river valley projects. Clearing of forest is still continuing with projects like Narmada Sagar project in Madhya Pradesh which would inundate 40000 hectares of forest. The other cause is mining. The Buxa Tiger Reserve in West Bengal is seriously threatened by the ongoing dolomite mining. It has disturbed the natural habitat of many species and blocked the migration route of several others including the great Indian elephant. So mining also contributes to deforestation. Agricultural expansion Poor cultivation methods like slash and burn agriculture or zooming Practiced by tribal people in northeastern and central India have also led to deforestation. Overgrazing Overgrazing by cattle herds also leads to large scale deforestation of pastures and natural forest. Enrichment plantation It is the practice of replacing different species of trees in an area by a single commercially valuable species. Teak plantations have damaged the natural forest in South India while chirpine plantations in Himalayas have greatly reduced the natural oak and rhododendron forest. Environmental Pollution Factors like environmental pollution and forest fires lead to a depletion of both our flora and fauna. The environmental factors that lead to a decline in biodiversity are caused by inequitable consumption of resources and inequitable responsibility borne from the well-being of the environment. 
however the responsibility for the protection and conservation of the environment is not shared by people in proportion with the resources that they consume the depletion of flora and fauna has considerable impact on society who is directly dependent on forests for resources and livelihood unequal access to resources the richest 5% of indian society probably cause more ecological damage because of the amount they consume than the poorest 25% the former shares minimum responsibilities for environmental well-being the destruction of forest and wildlife is not just a biological issue the biological loss is strongly correlated with the loss of cultural diversity such losses have increasingly marginalized and impoverished many indigenous and other forest dependent communities who directly depend on various components of the forest and wildlife for food drink medicine culture spirituality etc social effect of resource depletion in many societies women bear the major responsibility of collection of fuel fodder water and other basic subsistence needs as these resources are depleted the drudgery of women increases and sometimes they have to walk for more than 10 kilometers to collect these resources this causes serious health problems for women and negligence of home and children because of the increase hours of work which often has serious social implications the indirect impact of degradation such as severe drought or deforestation induced flood etc it also hits the poor the hardest poverty in these cases is a direct outcome of environmental destruction conservation of forest and wildlife in india let's see the benefits of conservation Conservation of plants and animals ensures the quality of air, water and soil on which we depend for our survival. Conservation of plant species is essential to maintain the genetic diversity which is extremely beneficial for our agricultural produce. Conservation of animal species is equally important for the breeding and maintenance of food chains. Conservation efforts in India resulted in Indian Wildlife Protection Act of 1972. The salient features of Indian Wildlife Protection Act of 1972 are as follows. The first is making provisions for habitat protection. The second is publishing a list of protected species. The third imposing legal restrictions on hunting, poaching and trade in wildlife. The fourth setting up of national parks and sanctuaries in different parts of india by giving the habitat and the last is announcing conservation projects for some specific endangered animals let's see the new trends in conservation policy as well as the increased biodiversity conservation efforts in india are expanding their scope to include even insects and plants in the list of protected species along with large animals hundreds of species of butterflies moths beetles and one species of dragonfly were included in the list of protected species through the wildlife act of 1980 and 1986 six species of plants also found their way into this list in 1991 One conservation project in India's wildlife conservation effort is dedicated to the Royal Bengal Tiger called the Project Tiger. India and Nepal are home to about 2/3 of the tiger population in the world. The tiger population in India has decreased from 55,900 to 1,827 in 1973. This is a matter of worry. The main reason for such drastic decline in the tiger population is poaching for lucrative trade in tiger skin and bones and other body parts used in traditional medicines. The results of Project Tiger have been mixed. There are 29 tiger reserves in India. Some of the mega tiger reserves are the Jim Corbett National Park in Uttarakhand, the Sundarbans National Park in West Bengal, the bandavgarh national park in madhya pradesh 
the Sariska Wildlife Sanctuary in Rajasthan.